it guys, how's it going? Uh, we're going to do another tutorial today. Today I want to talk about, um, you know, different types of uh, file organization use, or, or library organization using Aperture 3. Um, there's been a lot of talk on different forums and the internet um, about how to organize your photos and your files and your file folders um, under Aperture to keep everything, you know, together and be able to find it when you need to. So I'm going to go over how I do it and talk about some problems that I found along the way um, doing it some different ways and, and what works for me. So let's go ahead and open up Aperture and do that. So normally when I go about importing uh, new pictures I will label each project name Um, according to the shoot uh, and the day that the date of the of the day I took the photos so you know if I took them at Sandy's Beach in Oahu um, in 2010 I'll label you know Sandy's uh, and then I'll put the day and 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 then I'll save the project with that name um, and then to organize my projects I make different uh, folders by year as you can see here Right now I have a 2009 and 2010 folder and then I have uh, categories listed under each year and I have my projects placed inside of those. So for example, uh, here I have uh, 2009, I have the surfing folder and I have uh, Sandy's uh, listed and I have uh, all my shots from Sandy's from that day. Uh, if you look down farther, um, you know, let's go to the next year. I have 2010 here, and I have categories um, for for every every you know possible shoot I might might take. Um, I'll create more or less depending on what I do. You know, if I need something, um, if I feel like I need to divide something up into different folders, I'll make a new folder um, that didn't exist before. Um, it really just depends. Uh, so for 2010, I have a few different folders here. I have uh, flowers and plants, um, I have a folder for my girlfriend and I, I have a folder for miscellaneous sports, natural landscapes, pets, portraits, surfing, urban landscapes, and wildlife. Um, and uh, I find that, that organizing everything like this with the projects inside folders allows me to keep everything organized and still use um, still use all the features that Aperture allows. I mean, I, I've tried some few different ways before um, of making projects uh, with folders then listed inside the projects, um, but that doesn't work as well because when you go up to the Aperture library up here and you click on projects, um, you won't get these thumbnails with your pictures. Um, it just won't show up at all. So so I don't, I don't like to do it that way. That's why I started doing uh, the year with the categories and the projects inside each category folder uh, depending on the type of shoot and, and where it was shot. So, um, you know, I hope that helps you guys when you're trying to think of, of uh, how to organize your files um, to better access them in the future. So, um, anyway, I'll definitely be making more tutorials and going over some more stuff in the future, so check it out. 